Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Jenny. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do the moss stitch. So it's a simple one. It's it's really, I mean like really easy to do. Um, so let's jump right into this tutorial. Okay. Okay, so I just got some regular worsted weight. And I'm just using a size J hook. Um, yes, yes, this is my little lightsaber one. <laughs> but because I'm using yellow, we don't need the, the light on. So <clears throat> start with your slip knot. Um, sorry, I pick up my nails, so I put nail polish on every once in a while to stop myself. All right. So, for this, you're going to chain, it has to be an even number, okay? So, um, let's do, uh, I don't know, 18. So, we'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. You know what? We'll do 18 because I'm just filling 18 today. I don't know why. Okay. So then what you're going to do is you're going to go in and you're going to single crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. Not this one. This, this chain don't count. It's one, this one is your first one, so one, two, three, four. Okay, so you're going to go over there, and you're going to single crochet. And then you're going to chain one. Then you're going to skip a chain. You're going to go to your next chain and you're going to single crochet. And then chain one. And we're going to do this all down the line. So, you know, remember, skip one, go to your next one, single crochet chain one skip one go to your next one and chain one you're gonna always chain one after each one sorry so Chain one, okay, I'm going to go to your next one because remember you skip one. Chain one and your last one, go in there. Okay, now instead of chaining one, you're going to chain two. Okay, so one, two, and then you're going to turn. All right, so you're going to go into all of the skipped chains that you, that you didn't do. You're going to go in that space for this next round. So... Go into the blank space and chain one. There's your there's your one that you already did, so you go into that spot, you single crochet, and 
and chain one. Next spot, go in there and use single crochet, chain one. Next one, you go in, you single crochet, chain one, there's your stitch. So you go into that next one, single crochet, skip one. I know it looks like a V right here, and sometimes it's hard because it looks like a V. But that's your stitch, that's your single crochet. You want to go in, make sure you're going into the, the spaces. So single crochet. Chain one, okay, there's your, there's your space again, so single crochet, chain one, and here's your last one, actually, that's your stitch, this, this, this right here is your last, so you go at the end, you single crochet, you chain one, and two, and turn. This is the moss stitch, so this is all you do. You just, this is your repeats. So there's your stitch that you had just finished. Did I not chain one? Okay, yeah, I did. Okay, so you go in there. Single crochet, chain one. There's a stitch. You go into this, this empty space. Single crochet, chain one. Always chain that one. Go into the next space, single crochet, chain one, next space, single crochet, chain one, next space is single crochet, chain one, single crochet, Chain one, single crochet, chain one, and we are at our last one, so we single crochet, chain one, chain two. But you see how it's starting to, to look. And you know this is this is a very pretty stitch. It's very simple to do, and you know you can make lots of things with this stitch. You can make hats and blankets and scarves and I mean you name it. And it's nice. It's 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 a little bit of a stretchy, but it's, I think so is the yarn <laughs> that I'm using. But it's really pretty. And that's all you do. It's just a it's just a single chain. You know, you you just go into your your spaces that you didn't have that you didn't go into the first time. You know, it's the single single stitch in chain one. And it really is. It's just it's just a repeat row. You just got to be careful. Just look at the V's. Is that is that's, uh, the tip I can give you? Is look for those V's because that tells you that's a stitch. You don't want to go into that one. You want to go into the, right beside it where it's empty. Where it doesn't have a V. So you go in and you do your single stitch. That way. And chain one. Again, there's your, that V. 
So you go into the next stitch, the, that empty space, you single crochet, chain one, go into the next empty space, oops, there we go, single crochet, chain one, Empty space, single crochet, chain one, empty space, you go in there and you single crochet, chain one, oh, gosh darn it, next space, single crochet, chain one, And then you go to your, oh, gosh darn it, the, the last stitch is that single crochet, and then that's when you would chain two again. But this is what the stitch looks like. And I think it's, I think it's really pretty, see, I, I, get too heavy-handed but I think it's a really pretty really simple stitch okay, I'm gonna turn off this, this light here so there's not that ring there we go okay so um, just as a really simple stitch that you can do like I said it's good for blankets and um, everything else um, that you could think of that you'd want to do that stitch with just it has to be even numbers and make sure you're looking for that little V because that's your stitch you're wanting to go into that empty space so I mean well, <clears throat> when I first started doing this it caught me up it, it really did so my my thought was okay look for that V and there's my empty space and if you have to stretch it out to do it a little bit, then you can do it that way. And it's totally okay. Uh, it's however you feel comfortable doing it. So, um, oh, sorry. I got food poisoning, so uh, I'm feeling a little under the weather. Um, but I thought I'd jump on here, show you how to do that stitch, because... I figured I'd do a, a stitch for you. My graph gain uh, update. It's in timeout. It's in timeout because it doesn't want to keep count with me. Um, and I also um, I didn't shout out the um, other for the people that left comments. Uh, of, of what state they were in um, I do apologize uh, I do believe I had a, a person from Tennessee so thank you on uh, one of my comments um, I I I am flabbergasted I'm not flabbergasted that's not the right word I'm surprised on you know like who all watches where they're from it, it's just amazing to see where everybody's from. You do you do not feel that you have to put where you're from in my comments, please, 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 please. Especially if there's like safety reasons or, you know, whatever. I I totally, totally, totally understand that. So, um, even even just saying hi, you know, is enough for me. So I appreciate it. Um. But I didn't want you guys thinking that I'm leaving you out. Because uh, I know I got excited about um, a person from Scotland uh, m messaging and uh, and stuff. Um, to, to be, you know, 
having your videos being watched from across the pond that that was amazing in itself as well um i do watch some creators from across the pond as well and and i and i find it very interesting um cuz i don't just watch uh cuz i like uh listening to even though i don't do makeup or anything like that I like listening to the uh, drama channels and stuff while I'm crocheting. It gives me something to listen to besides my dog's snoring or my cat snoring or something. Um, sometimes I turn on the TV, but if if I if if something starts interesting me uh, really really a lot, then I'll lose count. So some of the some of the some of the drama channels, you know. Um, I watch, they're interesting, but still, you know, um, I most, I mostly watch them when I'm doing, uh, or listen to them, I should say, when I'm doing dishes and stuff like that, but, um, but I do watch other creators and stuff like that, and, you know, I, I find it very interesting, especially, you know, the, what, the ones that crochet and that knit, um, especially when I'm trying to teach myself to knit. Um, I, f I find how it's the ones that make their, sorry, that do their own patterns and, and everything else. Um, I find it very fun and fascinating. And I want to learn how to, you know, eventually get there to do, to, to feel confident in doing that. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm, I'm really not feeling well. But, um, so anyway, I wanted to say that, uh, I wanted to say thank you that I do appreciate you guys. Don't, don't think that I don't. Um, I do. I, it doesn't matter if you're, uh, across the street from me or in, uh, you know, in the house next door or whatever or across the pond or states away I do appreciate you and I appreciate y'all watching my shows or my videos I should my shows oh my goodness <sighs> um so with that being said um thank you if you liked what you've learned um please think about subscribing to my channel uh hit the like button if um you would like to leave a comment you're more than welcome to and i do respond to my to all the comments um and then also if i mean um if you feel like sharing that's fine as well i am so sorry uh i'll talk to y'all later <laughs> i should have done this a different day i apologize um, but, uh, anyway, y'all have a good one, and I appreciate you. Peace.